Kia ora. Mahalo Elelei. Talo falava. Kia ora nā. Bulavinaka. Whakalofa lahi atu. These are just a few of the beautiful faces you'll find in the world of pharmacy. What is a pharmacist? The role of a pharmacist is forever evolving, but I can show you better than I can tell you. So let's take a look. Amy is a clinical pharmacist in mental health at Auckland Hospital, and she's also a research pharmacist at the University of Auckland. Now, Amy, what is the best part about being a pharmacist? I think the best part is definitely the versatility of my job. I can't think of any other job where you get to wear like 10 different hats in one day. You can be involved in teaching other colleagues. Sometimes I'm an artist because I'm drawing different pictures for patients to help explain about the medications and just the people that come through that we end up caring for and they're all so different and so unique. Right now we're heading out to the country to see how pharmacy works in a rural setting. Hey, Hi. what's up, man? Hey. I need you to tell me what makes a rural pharmacist different. I think the difference is that we work in such a small community and that allows us to build really good relationships with our patients. It also allows us to work really closely with the patient's GP. And we've been really fortunate to work really closely with the local Māori health organisation, Rokura Hauru Tiny. So us, the GPs and the nurses, work really closely together to do the best that we can for our patients. Now we're going to talk to Penny, whose role as a pharmacist prescriber is one of the new and innovative services offered in pharmacy. Well for me, it's just a continuation of my role here at the medical centre, working as a clinical pharmacist. So working collaboratively with the doctors and nurses. The doctors are doing the diagnosing and I'm working on the treatment side. It means that I can write the prescriptions, order the blood tests, follow them up myself. More autonomy, but still in a team environment. We're here to see Marie who's been instrumental in expanding the role of pharmacists in a community setting. Well things have changed a lot in community pharmacy over the past few years. So we're now doing things like vaccinating patients for things like flu and whooping cough. So blood testing, we're helping people quit smoking, we're helping them with their weight. We're working a lot more closely with them with their medicines and helping them take them better and keep on track. If you enjoy being constantly on the go, you can be a locum pharmacist like Arthur. I work as an addictions pharmacist that's quite involved with the patient care. Then I work as a community pharmacist in the other role as a council member for the pharmacy council which is around regulation and the law. When I started we didn't have computers. We used to type everything manually, put things through with the labels. I think IT is going to have a huge impact because it's going to give us a lot more access to patient information that is going to open up what the pharmacist can do for their patients. It'll be immense. As you can see, pharmacists have multiple roles in a variety of settings, like Helen, who can come to you in the comfort of your own home. Hey Helen. Hey there. How's it going? Good. Why do we need mobile pharmacists? When people come to you in a medical practice or in a pharmacy, you don't get a good picture of what they're actually doing with their medicines, and we know that most people don't take their medicines as prescribed. So coming to their home, you actually get a true picture of what they're doing, and also they'll share with you stuff that they wouldn't share with you, and so you can find out why they're doing what they're doing. Finally, let me introduce you to Dr. Jeff Harrison, head of the School of Pharmacy at the University of Auckland now. Dr. Harrison, really enjoyed my time here and I've learned so much, there's so much more to pharmacy than, than you might think, right? Yeah, absolutely, there's heaps more. You can take a look around our website. At the University of Auckland, we've got a brand new curriculum and uh, you can learn more about that on the website as well. Hopefully you'll get the information you need, but if you don't, just drop us an email, give us a call. Hey, that was just a little insight into the world of pharmacy. We hope you've learned a lot, but if you need any more information, make sure you check out our website or we'll talk to some of our friendly staff. Kia ora. There are scholarships available for Māori and Pacific students to study pharmacy. Check out the website for more information.